Okay, so question number four. The highest mass peaks in the mass spectrum of Br2 occur at mass over charge uh, 158, 160, and 162. The ratio of intensities of these peaks is approximately 1, 2 to 1, and bromine has two stable isotopes, bromine 79 at a 50.7% abundance, and bromine 81, which is a 49.3% abundance. Part A, what molecular species gives rise to each of these peaks? And part B, explain the relative intensities of these peaks. A uh, hint is to consider the probabilities of each atom combination. Okay, so for part A, I'll just summarize that three mass peaks correspond to different combinations of isotopes of bromine. So when we have an isotope, this is when our atom has the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. So in the case of bromine, when we have like bromine 79, that the mass of it would be around 79, and the mass of this bromine 81 is around 81. So this is why, uh, this is how they got their names. So they differ in the number of protons. So, I mean, the new number of neutrons. So this is why they have a different mass. So we can have different combinations of the bromine ion or different combinations of the isotopes of the bromine. So for example, when the mass peak uh, was equal to 158, so if we divide this by 2, you'll notice that we have two atoms of our bromine 79 isotope. So 79 times 2 is 158. Similarly, we can do the same thing for the second peak at 160. This can be a combination of one atom of the bromine 79 and one atom of the bromine 81. And lastly, when we have the mass peak at 162, this can be the two atoms of bromine 81. So 81 times 2 is 162. Okay, so these are all the different peaks. So now let's do part B of the question. Explain the relative intensities of these peaks, and we need to consider the probabilities of each of the atom combinations. So we know that the ratio of the peaks is equal to 1 to 2 to 1. So let's look at the probability of each atom combination. So the probability of having two atoms of the same, so I'm going to put an asterisk when we have two of the same, the probability is 
is 25%. And the reason for this is because we have a 50% chance of a specific isotope. and another 50% chance that it, it's going to be the same. So that's why the probability is 25%. So we can show this how 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.25. So now let's talk about the option if we have one of each. I'm going to put an asterisk on our middle option. So the probability is 50%. So this corresponds to our um, 2 in the, the ratio. And this is because since we have a 100% chance of a bromine atom, and then we have a 50% chance that it is the other, the opposite one. So it doesn't matter which one you start with, you still just have a 50% chance that it's the opposite one. So this kind of explains the relative intensities of the peaks, how you can have 1 to 2 to 1. And now let's see what the junior tutor said. The peak at 158 is caused from the bromine molecules made of two bromine-79 isotopes. Peak at 160 is caused from bromine molecules made of one bromine-71 and bromine-81 isotope. And lastly, the peak at 162 is caused by two of the bromine-81 isotopes. Okay, so they drew out a table for part B just showing how, oh yeah, this is a helpful way of doing it as well. It's kind of like a Punnett table from biology. Uh, you can show the different combinations. So when we have two of the same, it's a 25% chance. So 279 bromine isotopes, 281 bromine isotopes is 25%. And the percentage of having a molecule made up of 179 bromine and 181 bromine is 50%. So the 50% is highlighted in the bold, and that's an easier way of showing the probability of the isotopes. So the solution is correct. Thank you.